Alright guys, today I'm going to finally start adding some content. Let me close this up so you guys can hear me. Alright, so I've been talking about adding a lot of content to this channel for a while now and just haven't gotten around to doing it, but I figure I'll start answering some questions that I typically get on a daily basis about the arm, uh, how I lost it, or how to, you know, how you use it, uh, where do you get it, how did you get it, because I get all kinds of questions on a routine basis, especially in comments lately and private messages through the page, so basically I'm going to make this sort of a vlog, so just got out of work, thankfully I'm still working with everything that's going on in the world right now, and uh, yeah, that's about it. But anyway, this is a Tasca hand. It's a relatively new hand. It's been out for about a year, I believe. Maybe a little longer. And it's a multi-articulating hand, meaning all five fingers move. They're all in, not independently controlled, but there are different grip patterns that allow you to give different hand gestures and different grips to pick up different shaped objects and uh, how I control that is through muscles all right so two muscles control everything on this hand it's called a two channel system there's a lot of new technology out there called pattern recognition and that allows multiple muscles I think it's up to 16 and you would flex muscles in your arm here that are set up to specific grip patterns for the hand. So right now I use one muscle to rotate the hand one direction and I flex my muscle a different way to rotate the hand. Now the same two muscles that allow me to rotate back and forth are also the same two muscles that open and close the hand. So basically, you're probably shaking your head, well, how does that work? So these arms are all programmed wirelessly through computers. So at the prosthesis office, they set up different muscle uh, signals, thresholds for different uh, signals for your hand to give. So basically, if you flex that muscle firmly over a certain strength, which they call thresholds, uh, if you're over that threshold, it will rotate the hand. So a quick, firm flex will rotate the hand. Now, if you fire that same muscle lightly and slower and stay under that threshold, it will open or close the hand. All right, so how I, how I do it is if you were to make a fist with your real hand and flex this way, that will make my hand either open, depending on how firm, fast I flex, remember, and that will also rotate. Now, if you make a, a fist and go the other way, like this, that will close the hand and rotate the other direction all right so I'm not even going to get into the other grip patterns that this hand has at this moment because it's just going to be a lot and I'm driving home right now so it's a lot of thought and a lot of concentration but anyway this hand is waterproof uh, without a glove so basically as you see it it's waterproof all the other hands need a glove at this point to be able to be washed or you know do dishes or whatever the case may be so it's a big step in the prosthetics world so it's cool it's great waterproof um, however cons to that is being you don't wear a glove on it if you're however you use this on a daily basis it can get you know, nicked up, it can get scratched, uh, you can leave dull marks on it, you can just mar it up. So, with the other hands, if you wear a skin covering, a glove on them, 
and that gets beat up over time, you could just swap that out, put a new one on, and the hand looks brand new again. So I use a different uh, terminal device, a different hand, where uh, it looks like a vice, like a clamp, a powered clamp. And I use that if I'm going to do anything that's hard on the hand or uh, where it can get marred up, anything abusive, I use that other device where it's a grifer, they call it. So, the sand, it's, I, I use it at work, but I typically use it to and from work, after work, if I'm going places. It's, uh, it's been a good hand so far. Just trying to think of what else people ask me. Oh, how do I, how did I lose it? Well, I didn't lose my arm. I was actually born missing my arm. Um, so, fortunately, I didn't have to relearn everything. When somebody loses an arm or a leg, you gotta learn everything over. So, in that aspect, it, it wasn't too bad adapting through life because I really didn't adapt. You know, I was just learning as I went, just like anybody else learns as they grow up. So, sorry, I just got a guy pulling over for no reason in front of me. So, all right. What else can we talk about? This arm is clear right now, as you can see. This is a, a rough, uh, basically a rough draft, a, a temporary arm. And they set you up with a, a clear arm just because it's cheap material, it's quick, easy to work with. And basically it's cheap, that's the whole point of it. It's cheap, it's temporary. They want to set you up with the arm right away and get you using it out in the real world, not wearing it for five minutes in a, in a doctor's office. Because over time, you know, hours in, once you wear these for a few hours, it, it might become uncomfortable, it might bother your skin. And that's why this hand is clear. So once, once we modify it along the way, make some tweaks and little changes, and we figure out where everything is best, uh, that's when I'll uh, have them build the definitive version, the final copy. So a lot of times they build them out of carbon fiber or just fiberglass. You can get different, uh, different color carbon fibers. You can even have t-shirts made where you can wrap the arm and then they apply a clear epoxy or a resin over top of it and it's all you know just embedded in it's all encapsulated so I probably won't do that because I don't like that but I'm thinking just going carbon fiber this time it's a lot lighter it's very light strong had a couple arms that were carbon and the weight difference is just enormous so and much stronger as everybody knows but that's really it for now I figured I'd like I said make a short video driving home and tell you guys a little bit about these hands and hopefully you enjoyed it if you did comment like it subscribe please and let me know what else you want to know or if you guys want to see anything done with the hands just ask. Alright. I'll see you on the next one.